One way to study interactions in an ecosystem is to follow the flow of energy through that ecosystem. Organisms can be classified in an ecosystem by their mode of nutrition. So the two main categories are autotrophs and heterotrophs. Auto, um, if we look at our roots, means self, hetero means different, and troph means feeding or nutrition. Autotrophs are organisms that collect energy from sunlight or other inorganic substances to produce food. So a lot of plants use photosynthesis to convert sunlight, energy, carbon dioxide, and water into glucose and oxygen. So some examples of autotrophs are plants and bacteria that you use um, other inorganic substances to make organic molecules to use as food. So heterotrophs are organisms that get their energy from consuming other organisms. We are heterotrophs or consumers. Heterotrophs can be classified into different categories by what types of organisms they consume. So herbivores eat only plants, carnivores eat other heterotrophs, and omnivores eat both plants and animals. Now, lastly, there's also detritivores, which are similar to decomposers, and they eat fragments of dead matter and recycle nutrients that can be used by other organisms. They eat uh, what's called detritus. So my last question for you now today is why are the decomposers and detritivores an important part of the cycle of life on Earth? I want you to think about that question and make sure you put it in your notes and we will talk about it more tomorrow. Thanks guys!